Welcome back. You're listening to Mixing Family and Business on Hunter and Chamber Internet Radio with Trish and Carrie, the ladies behind that too. I am Carrie, and when we left off, I was telling you about a wonderful guest that we have on the line with us. Her name is Erin Hoffman, and she works for the National Lecotech Center. So I'm just going to um, tell you a little bit about what they do and their mission. So like all kids, children with special needs learn, develop skills, and reach milestones through play. The Lecotech mission is to make the world of play accessible to all children, especially those who have disabilities or special needs. Lecotech's focus is to encourage play and the utilization of toys to bring joy, happiness, and fun to the entire family. Welcome, Erin. It's Trish. Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh, anytime. I mean, obviously, you and I um, have had several conversations, and you know that, um, well, um, all the things that Lecotech, I'm going to let you sa- tell <laughs> all of the things that the Lecotech Center does. So why don't you tell us a bit about um, what your position is and what you do there? Sure, yeah. So um, my position at Lecotech, um, I'm at the National Lecotech Center, and we have 16 affiliate sites throughout the United States. So um, at the center that I'm at, I am a part of our industry relations and partnerships team, which um, gets toys in like Zatu products, and we evaluate them with our Lecotech family. So they get to provide us with lots of feedback and um, we provide that feedback to um, our clients that we work with. So it's a lot of fun to use uh, products um, that are new uh, and have never been out on the shelves yet or products that are already out there, and, and maybe uh, families get to give us a little feedback on them, and, and we provide that to the clients to maybe make those a uh, couple of changes in the toy to make them accessible for all kids. And uh, we're proud to say that um, Zatu has been evaluated, and yeah. um, we were one of your great finds, and Absolutely. we are able to carry an Able Play seal of endorsement, mm-hmm. um, which makes us uh, very, very happy that um, Zatu is, is great for children of all abilities and right. differing abilities. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. And is backed by professionals who have um, evaluated along with right. parents. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Able Play is just through the National Lecotech Center. It's a project of the National Lecotech Center. So um, not our other affiliate sites don't do the Able Play ratings, um, but we, we oftentimes utilize their families as well um, to help us evaluate products because of geographical differences. They serve different ages than um, the national site. They might have uh, different uh, disabilities that, you know, maybe we're not seeing mm-hmm. right now with our family. So we do always um, use our affiliate sites as well to help us with our evaluations. And I know that you have a, a, um, a place in New Jersey. We I was do. It's in Millville at the Shirley Eves uh, Developmental and Therapeutic Center. And, and tell us what, what some of the things that they do at that. Um, yeah, you know, and, and most of our Lecotech sites are doing uh, similar things. Everyone gets trained in the Lecotech model and mission. So we're all running off of the same uh, model and mission and serving our families um, in a different play environment. Um, but really, you know, everyone offers one-hour-long play sessions uh, to families one time per month. And I think what makes our, our centers a little bit different than other therapies is that we um, invite the entire family to play with mm-hmm. us. So we're working on goals that the families are working on with their children in uh, maybe occupational therapy or speech therapy or physical therapy, whatever their child may be doing. Um, but we're inviting mom and dad and brothers and sisters and, you know, anyone that really in, uh, interacts with the child on a regular basis to come to our center and play as well. So we're teaching everyone to play together and, and using uh, the same similar toys that they might be using with their ther- other therapists, and they get to take them home with them, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. So they can continue working on some of those developmental milestones stones and goals that the child is working on as a family together, which, you know, sometimes make it, makes it a little bit more fun and maybe a little bit more motiv- motivation for the child as well. So, Well, one of the things that, I mean, you guys do is you make a big deal out of play. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think that's, um, you know, that's great because most people think, well, you know, don't all kids naturally know how to play? Right, yeah, and you know, really, it's it is it is hard for kids to to know how to play. You know, mm-hmm. and a lot of times schools are are really rigorous, and kids are um, in school and they're on a schedule, and mm-hmm. there's not a lot of time for that imaginary play and that free play that that they get with toys and and you know even playgrounds and and things like that. So we're really happy to be able to provide that for families and and let them you know teach them a little bit here at our centers and and teach them that. Um, you know, when we get a product out, um, which is one of our main goals every time we play, is that when we're playing with a child um, 
and maybe the product that we give them isn't, you know, they're not quite at that level yet to, to use it, mm-hmm. we always end the toy on a positive note. So whether or not we're playing it by the rules or we're just looking at it to, to name the colors or the shape or something that the toy isn't really meant for, we always leave that product on a, a positive note so that the child, when we bring it back to them again to try it again, they're not going to think of it as, you know, they failed at that toy or, you know, it's a negative connotation with that toy. So, and sometimes that's a little bit more of a battle with the parents because they'll say, "Oh no, no, we tried that one time before right. at this therapy or or here or whatever," and, and it didn't. They couldn't do it. They didn't like it. So well, we always try and and play it maybe a little bit differently so exactly. that the child can see it in a different light, and and so can the parent. You know, we like to throw the directions away and just check out the toys however the child wants to explore them and kind of follow their lead. I'm gra- glad you brought that up in that respect because that's one of the things that we say about Zat 2. Zat 2 mm-hmm. is, you know, you're playing the games and, and creating different activities using your own pictures and your right. own memories. Right, uh, exactly. which Which give parents that, um, that, that latitude to make the game mm-hmm. work within their own circumstance right. and, and what their child um, can and can't do. Right. Another exactly. thing that I think is really interesting is really the backstory of how Lecotech, you know, began. Yeah. Because again, I mean, I, I would love for you to share how it sure. began. But you know, for us, you know, Zatu was created from a need. Mm-hmm. So that so Lecotech Center was similar. from yeah, very absolutely. similar. Absolutely, a, a couple of parents that were from Illinois, they went over to Sweden, which already had the Lecotech program. So Lecotech is a Swedish word meaning toy library, okay. and so they went over to Sweden and they found this great um, organization called Lecotech, and they brought it back over here to the United States and started um, a Lecotech in 1980 in Evanston, Illinois, and so we've been around ever since. Um, so it's really exciting for us that we've we've been um, you know in the United States for so long and that we have uh, different Lecotech sites throughout the United States to share our program with lots of people. Um, can you tell us, Erin, where people can go um, to find out where these different sites yeah, are, these absolutely. Lecotech um, so if you go to our website, which is www.lecotech.org, and that's L-E-K-O-T-E-K, um, you can go to our homepage, and on the last tab on the right at the top, you will see a section that says Affiliates. And that's where you can find our whole uh, list of our different sites that we have. That's great. I I know that um, you know I just did something a little off off of you know Lecotech, but I just um, this weekend I was asked by someone if um, I wanted to go along and be a volunteer uh, babysitting or for mm-hmm. a better lack of word um, children uh, that of parents for with children with special needs and I have to tell you um, I I am always in awe and I am always so impressed Mm -hmm. about um, how how hard it is on parents who have um, because many times parents don't just have a child they have several children and one may be of special needs but you know so when you find a program this program was specialparents.org um, and their mission was to give parents a night out um, okay. with their without well their special needs child and siblings are cared for and entertained by volunteers. And I cannot say enough about how much time and effort went into planning this wonderful event that was so incredible and heartwarming. I mean, I know every time that they do it, if I can make myself available to be part mm-hmm. of this, um, it, it was just awesome. And my friend and I went there and we decided we would be a team. And uh, the children that we had were, um, I believe it was set, uh, nine, seven, and five. Um, the oldest was um, severely autistic, nonverbal. Mm-hmm. And it was such a he had such a great time, even though we were strangers. Mm -hmm, But when I watched the interaction, the other thing, the interaction of his younger siblings, and how they helped us Mm -hmm. to help him have a wonderful experience. And then when the parents came back, because their nights out rarely, if ever occur, right, you know, and I just, I just think so. Um, we're such advocates for for organizations like yours and mm-hmm. others well, who you. reach out and really try to make um, the lives of other people um, enjoyable. And play is is just one of the most fun aspects that sometimes. I think can get lost. Exactly. I think that's perfectly said. Yeah, it gets a little bit lost. Yes. Um, and I think that what you're saying is a nice segue too. we, uh, we do provide 
um, play groups for our families mm-hmm. as well as parent support groups. And they really find those to be very helpful because they're meeting other families that um, have similar family dynamics as them and, and have similar stories, and they're able to kind of um, talk with each other and connect and, and see each other outside of Lecotech as well. So we're, we um, always provide, um, when we do our parent support groups, we always have child care available, and we're you know not just doing kind of babysitter stuff. We're doing activities with the children, and we oftentimes will bring in um, someone that does uh, yoga for children or a music therapist or someone like that to come in and um, you know do a little activity with the children for the one hour uh, parent support group um, where the parents are getting a little bit of respite I'm mm-hmm. sure they're still learning a little bit but you know their chi- their children uh, the child with a special need and the siblings are in another room you know and they know that they're well cared for and having fun so it's nice for them to have that time um, as well so we have, we love doing that and then we do um, play groups as well and in the summertime, they're a little bit more fun because we actually will go out into the community and, and go to different museums and things like that, and the whole family is invited. So those are always a, a good time. I, I, I think that's great, and I, I can't say enough about Absolutely. everyone who is who is involved. And I know a lot of times, um, you know, and I happen to have one of my most dearest of friends is raising her two grandchildren, mm-hmm. Um one who is uh, as high functioning Asperger's Mm -hmm. syndrome and, and then the other one who has a a lot of learning disabilities and things like that. And what a great grandma. Oh, she's, she's (laughs) She's um, an absolutely amazing woman, but see, it brings to the point of that's, what's so great about organizations like this, because, you know, a lot of times, and we do have a lot of blended families and families Mm -hmm. who, and, and they might really not know that the resources exist. And and so when you're bringing people together and then you're showing them other things, you know, it leads to more and more availability um, because and especially when they are no cost. Right, right. Now, I wanted to ask because we are, you know, mixing family and business. So mm-hmm. we do, you know, talk sometimes on the personal end of it. What um, what what in your career? This is your career now. Like what made you? choose this path? You know, that's funny that you asked that. I've been asked that many times, and um, I've always been involved in some way with children that have special needs Mm -hmm. uh, just throughout my life, and I I would say that it probably started with my grandfather who had... um, he had arthritis, and it, it really took over his body, and he was in a wheelchair and became blind at the end of his life, and so he needed a lot of care, and I didn't think anything different of him. You know, my cousins were a little bit nervous around him, and, mm-hmm. and you know, I had no problem being around him and playing with him and whatever, and so just from there, I continued on that path kind of of working with children that had special needs um, through a camp um, in my hometown of Clarkston, Michigan, and so uh, the camp is called SCAMP, and it's a, it's a wonderful program for kids that have special needs, and it's a summer um, Monday through Friday program, and, and it's great. And then from there, I went to college and got my degree in therapeutic recreation, and it all just kind of um, evolved. Wow. I, I mean, we say that so much, like, with Zatu, with us personally, of finding that Zatu has been our true calling, and especially once, it you know, we did go through the National Echo Tech Center, and now it's Able Play Rating. Um, You know, because both myself and my mother, we've always been different, but very similar in having that compassion Mm -hmm. and going and visiting people who may be in nursing homes. um, Or like I know, you know, my uncle when I was I was 10. Right. I I believe, Mm -hmm. you know, he became blind and paralyzed and he was at the Kessler Institute and we were there every weekend. And, you know, I think for me personally, from that experience, I always knew that I there was a bigger picture and I always enjoyed you know just helping people and just you know really just being there right Right. and my full circle comes from um, I had wanted to go and and you know you don't even realize sometimes Mm -hmm. how how the path leads you but um, I had um, when I was planning on going to college I wanted to be an art an art, an occupational art therapist mm-hmm. working with handicapped children, and my path um, didn't allow me to go to college, and of course I went a different way. So I feel that Zatu brought me full circle because although Zatu was created just as a very simple learning and bonding tool mm-hmm. for my granddaughter who is not special needs once people started purchasing it and telling us how good it was and helping their children and even in helping uh 
parents to see that there may be an issue arising with their child at right. a young age. You know, that's when then we turn to the National Echo Tech Center because I don't have children with special needs right. to to make sure that, you know, our product was. So I think it's funny how, you know, somewhere a lot of times you don't always know um, the influences that you have right. at a younger age, mm-hmm. where they're ultimately going to lead you, you know, but... Um, it's a it's a nice thing, and I think that that's really a um, something that I don't know that they do anymore. But when I was young, and you know I'm not so young anymore, um, <laughs> we used to have um, organizations and things that would bring us to. Um, I can remember going to visit you know veteran centers as mm-hmm. a young gal, right. and and to going to nursing homes mm-hmm. and things like that, and all. And I really think that that helps to bring, um, you know, empathy and compassion right. and, and understanding. Exactly. Yeah. And whether it's a child or an adult, everyone wants to be treated exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So what's some things you're working on there at the National yeah. Ecotech uh, well, Center right doing, now? Uh, we're doing some fun things right now. We um we are working with Astra, the American Specialty Retailer Association, okay. mm-hmm. and we are um, presenting at Astra in June in oh, Nashville, nice. Tennessee. So we're working on our presentation, and uh, we're also working on a brochure that we did actually in 1999. We're revamping it um, mm-hmm. to make it new and updated, and mm-hmm. um, we are giving that out uh, with Astra at the conference to all of the retailers. Um, to help them um, figure out what toys are are good for them to uh, pick out for their store um, so that when someone comes in and they're looking for a product for a child that has special needs, um, they can help them uh, find the right the right toy to take home and give as a gift. So we're really excited about uh, redoing that project for Astra. That's great. Now I know you're a five hundred one C at three, yeah. right? And right. so um, you you also are always looking for volunteers. Oh, and, and absolutely, yes. All of our sites, um, you know, we actually have, you know. The toys get a lot of love, so one of the main things that we do always need help with is um, cleaning our toys. Mm. You know, we always need to, when, no, really, though, I mean, you know, we have so many toys. All of our uh-huh. Lecotech sites, you know, if you're, if you're lending out, you know, to all your families per month uh, mm-hmm. five or more toys, um, and all those come back, you know, for the next month, uh, they need to be cleaned and sanitized so that they're okay for the next child to, to use. So um, toy hygienists are big for us, and, and we usually do those on a volunteer basis. So we're always looking for people to um, help us clean our toys and, and make sure that they get the same love that our kids give them. So <laughs> that's, that's great. But I, yeah. I, I'm sure a lot of people don't even think about that. No, they don't at all. But, you know, it's funny because when people come and volunteer at, at you know, and I'm speaking really for National Lecotech, but I feel like it's got to be the same for our other Lecotech affiliates, is when they come and volunteer for us once that we usually don't lose them. They usually stay with us. So it's really nice. Because, yeah, that's great. You know, we utilize our volunteers for our play groups, for our parent support groups, um, to help us clean toys, um, and, you know, just do a lot of other things, um, you know, around our Lecotech organization to, to help us, you know, maintain what we're doing with our families. So, Well, isn't that so true that I think of uh, many organizations and when people volunteer and give of themselves that they realize that really, and even sometimes, and because I've been just as guilty as anyone else, um, we we think that our volunteering, um, you know, oh, it's cutting into your day right. if you make a commitment or something like that. But once you go and and you do something, you realize you get back tenfold oh, absolutely. of what you're you're giving in. Right. So we have to take a quick break here. Okay. We're talking with Aaron Hoffman of the National Ecotech Organization. And um, stay tuned and we'll be right back. IRN USA Radio News. I'm Mark Thomas. Lawmakers introduced fresh legislation on Thursday seeking to address the problem of sexual assault in the military. The measure would mandate, at minimum, a dishonorable discharge for anyone found guilty of sexual assault or attempted assault. The White House and Congress have demanded changes since seeing a disturbing report of a steep rise in the number of assaults on members of the military. 
Investigators say a truck crashing into a four-lane freeway bridge in Washington State Thursday evening may have contributed to its collapse, sending vehicles and drivers tumbling into the frigid water. The National Transportation Safety Board is leading the investigation into what led part of the Interstate 5 bridge to fall into the Skagit River, 55 miles north of Seattle. Three people were rescued from the river. No one died. On Wall Street at the hour, stocks are lower in early trading. The Dow is down 62 points. This is IRN, USA News. Are you concerned about your blood pressure, cholesterol, or other cardiovascular issues? Are you taking an omega-3 supplement but not seeing the results you've been promised? Dr. Stephen Sinatra's famous Little Red Pill is the only fish oil alternative enhanced with resveratrol, providing you with sustained energy and the amazing health results you want. Now you can improve circulation by up to 62% and help get rid of your brain fog, joint problems, and many other signs of aging with Omega Q Plus with resveratrol. Call today to find out how to get your free bottle of Omega Q Plus with resveratrol. Just pay shipping and handling. Call 800-604-8423. With his little red pill, you get vital Omega-3s, DHA, along with CoQ10 and resveratrol, a clinically proven ingredient that boosts your blood flow in just one hour. Call to find out how to get your first bottle free. Just pay shipping and handling. Call 800-604-8423. That's 800-604-8423. Again, 800-604-8423. The weather today from Flemington, New Jersey, will have showers with a high of 65 and a low of 44. Saturday, there's a 40% chance of showers with a high of 63 and a low of 41. And Sunday, the sun's going to come out. It's going to be breezy and clear with a high of 67 and a low of 42. Welcome back. You are listening to Mixing Family and Business on 100 and Chamber Internet Radio with Trish and Carrie, the ladies behind that too. We're talking with Aaron Hoffman from the National Lecotech Center this afternoon. Um, so, Aaron, I was looking on, we always ask all of our guests for some good tips for business and or creating harmonious relationships. So, your first one is get to know your client. And on your end of it, it's so diverse because you have the families, and then you right. also have the business end. Right, yeah. I, I think it really works for both because our families really know their child. So when mm-hmm. we're getting a new Lecotech family into our, uh, you know, into our program, um, our direct service staff really need to get to know that family and get to know what therapies and things that the child might be working on so that they can select the right toys for the child and also for the siblings and parents that will be in the sessions. And then also for our Able Play clients, you know, it's really nice to get to know who they are and, and do fun things like this with, with Zach, mm-hmm. you know. So, I, you know, getting to know your client and then uh, having other things come of it is, is fabulous. So Yeah, and I'm excited, too, because, um, you know, I did not realize it's it's through the conversation that I've had with you um, because, you know, there you have two sites. You have the Lecotech, L-E-K-O-T-E-K dot org website and you also have the able play right. uh, able play play <laughs> play dot org site it. where you have you know the links to the toys and right. the able play great finds and things like that but i really wasn't aware of the fact that you had a center in new jersey so uh my daughter and i plan on over the summer mm-hmm. um taking a visit to, to there. I know that we love visitors, so it's always fun to show <laughs> off our site, and hopefully there's a family there, you know, so you guys can see what a, fa- uh, a play session looks like, and check out all the toys that we have. I know that it's always a fun experience when we have visitors at Lecotech here at, at the national site in Chicago, Illinois, mm-hmm. um, because they're just like, oh my gosh, how do you have so many things? But, <laughs> you know, everything gets used, and, um, you know, we, we often rotate a lot of pro- uh, products that we have out of our library, because, you know, as they get used and loved by our families we need to replace them with something different or um you know toys change all the time so it's it's fun to get new things in for our families and um see what they think of the new products that we get in well and of course you know we would come bearing gifts uh, (laughs) (laughs) as we also do also um do oftentimes i mean it serves two purposes one it gets uh, zatu in the hands of those that we believe um truly benefit with it and then it also spreads some goodwill and uh you know on on our end so it does twofold and and then just on the very personal um, side, it really makes you feel good when you know yeah. that you um, Absolutely. Are, are visiting a worthwhile organization. Another right. one of your tips was listen to comments, suggestions, and concerns. And I 
totally agree with that. We, in fact, just were on the phone on our way here um, with someone had purchased a Zatu from us and then given it to their friend who has a child um, with autism. And she had said, you know, well, you know, she would like to set up a time where you guys can talk because she has a few suggestions. Oh. And, um, you know, she had wonderful suggestions. Right. And we really, we love, we love feedback and we love hearing suggestions. So I'm, I'm total agreeance with that. Great. And concerns yeah. I mean, as well. Sometimes it's, it's hard if it's a negative thing, or, but yeah. you, know, you have to take it you know, with a grain of salt or, or really listen to it because mm-hmm. it is what you need to do. But um, it is good to, to hear that, that feedback. Well, let's face it. I mean, if everybody agreed with everything, I personally right. think that, you know, people being, you know, it's like with anything, whether it's in a relationship or business or things like that, honesty helps, um, helps for better dialogue mm-hmm. and, and clearing up miscommunication yeah, and things like that. So, you know, sometimes when you get feedback, I mean, and I always yeah. go back to when I was developing Zatu. Oh my gosh, um, you probably got a lot of feedback. Well, and I even <laughs> had fun. where it was, it was, um, and I spoke with someone because originally, you know, uh, as you know, you can slide your photos in and out so they can be interchanged yeah. and or sealed in. So originally, that wasn't how Zatu was. And I spoke to a man and he said to me, you know, you can't do what you're doing. And he was highly successful. He was, Mm -hmm. you know, and I was a bit like hurt kind of, you know, as I'm so said, you know, you can't do what you're doing unless you have a million dollars. So do you have a million dollars? (laughs) (laughs) And that stopped me right there in my tracks. (laughs) But what it did was it made us go back to the drawing board, rethink of how we were creating this so that we could make Zatsu truly portable right. to have multiple uses. So I'm glad that that happened early on. And although it was somewhat frustrating to me, mm-hmm. and I didn't like hearing what he had to say, it really changed a lot of things for us. Right, right. You know, so, and if you get the feedback that, you know, or a concern, um, you know, again, going back to which I'm sure you hear a lot of times too, concerns that, you know, the products aren't compliant, right? Or they may not be safe. Right. I mean, Choking you know, and hazards, there's I, so many, right? There's, there's all of these things that, you know, um, you, you need to make sure that you're putting people at ease. With. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and then provide su- superior service. Yeah, you know, that's really important. We're, we're working with a lot of people at Lecotech, and, you know, it's not only through our direct service team with the families that we see, uh, but it's also the, the clients that uh, we work with th- through AblePlay. So, you know, we, we really want to make sure that Lecotech has a great name and AblePlay has a great name, too. So, Right, right. And I know that um, um, Toys R Us... Um, mm-hmm. rely upon you as well, too. Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. I, we, we have a great relationship with Toys R Us. We've been helping them for quite some time now um, doing the Toys R Us uh, Differently Abled Guide. Mm-hmm. And um, we get products from them uh, that we evaluate with our families and we utilize with our other Lecotech affiliates as well. And we decide what products are really great that they send us uh, that year. And we give them um, the, the categories of each product, and, and then they put it into the brochure so that families can utilize that when they're shopping and they know um, that this product is going to help with um, creativity or with fine motor skills or um, what it's going to help with for their child. So it's, it's really nice uh, for families to have at Toys R Us and, and Babies R Us when they go to either store. Well, that just actually brought to mind, um, we've been talking this hour, but the one thing that um, I would love for you to share with everyone is there's actually four different categories when a product or a toy gets evaluated. Yeah, so for Able Play, um, we actually added a fifth one, which is really exciting. Oh, cool. um, but we had four original categories that we um, evaluate all of our products um, from Able Play. And that is uh, physical disabilities, cognitive, communicative, and sensory. And we decided to evaluate products um, based on those disability categories because they were, they're really kind of the main um, disability um, overview. So a child that has a physical disability, maybe it's cerebral palsy, um, whatever that physical disability may be, if the product gives gets five stars um, in that category, a family would know that this product is going to be really great for my Mm -hmm. child that has um, whatever disability it is. So it's a nice little kind of report card on the product, letting people know that it's great for these these disabilities. 
And then we added a fifth um, category, which is social emotional disabilities. Oh, nice. And so that's really great because, um, you know, we're re- really seeing a lot more of that now. Mm-hmm. It, it seems to be a, a kind of a, uh, a subject that's being um, ch- children are, are really being diagnosed with different things now, mm-hmm. um, you know, bipolar or schizophrenia or things like that. So um, we added that as an important um, fifth category to Able Play. Wow. Yeah, that is that is pretty new because I don't believe that that was um, no. yeah, part of ju- it. We just added it. So we're, we're just working on uh, the seal for that and um, evaluating products now in that fifth category. So, well, I guess that's who's coming back. huh? Ah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've really um we've really enjoyed having you with us. Um again, I think that people should really check out your website, which is of course we all know the www lecotech l e k o t e k dot org and your able play site, which is www dot able play a b l e p l a y dot org. And um, I think that you guys are doing a, a great job. And I know my daughter wants to add in something. I was just going to say, I know you guys are going to be at Astra. Yeah. Um, and we actually just had a fabulous guest with us last week that okay. is also one of our buddies that we know is going to be there. Okay. So, and they're called Jukum Football. Okay. Yes. And, look and, her up, Michelle. Yeah. And and actually, it's a funny thing. Her, their it's a card game. Jukum is a football card game, okay. but it was created out of a need, parents need mm-hmm. to help their their little one with math. Oh, excellent. I'm writing yeah. this down, so I will definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're just. I would love to meet. Yeah. Oh, they're awesome and they're people. a husband, wife team. So they're just, they're amazing. Yeah. Right. We've, we've actually done Astra and I think yeah. Astra is a great show for it a lot great. of reasons, including the fact that they have, um, I, I believe, and maybe their format has changed somewhat, but I also know that they have game night and things like mm-hmm. that. So yeah. that people yeah. can actually go and experience right. demonstrations, games mm-hmm. and s- things like that. So I think that's um, a, a really great place for you guys to be at. And so you we're, have we're that- definitely excited about it, and presenting to retailers is going to be really fun so we can help them, you know, make decisions on what they should have in their store and what they already have in their store and, and what those products are, are good for when people come in. So, Do you have anything else um, on the horizon, horizon or <laughs> that you want to share? Um, you know, not that I can think of right now, but I really appreciate you guys having me on, and it's, it's really exciting to be on with you guys. So thank you. Well, thank, well, thank you thank so you. much. Such great information, and we appreciate your time. Great. Thank you. Have a really nice Thanks, Memorial Aaron. weekend. Yes, you guys too. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much, Erin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. We're going to go to quick break. It's our last break, and then we will be right back. So sit tight. <laughs> 